Oh, I look tanned. Can somebody please tell me how to say it properly? And I feel so different. But yeah, I kind of know how to say a few things in time. We were just thrown into the deep end. Nothing's holding me back. Yeah, I was kind of scared for our lives. I would have felt slightly uncomfortable. Do you want me to open the door? Yeah. Okay. He's lost his card. Is the audio like really bad in this room? Is there like an echo? Hello? Hello. Hello. <laughs> it sounds like I'm on the phone. Oh, I look tanned. Look at me. Maybe this might work. I'm not sure what the lighting and the audio is going to be like on this video, but yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So I should really say hello from Thailand, obviously, and hello from Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai, can somebody please tell me how to say it properly? But we are in Northern Thailand. We, I say myself and my brother Matthew, who is currently not here, he's just out getting breakfast. Um, but yeah, this is a very spontaneous sit down video, but I just wanted to sit down with you guys because when I went to Australia like over two years ago, one of my first videos in the country was me sitting down and talking to the camera like this, almost being in tears, not really knowing what to say, not really being able to get my words out because I was so homesick, I was so overwhelmed and I really just wanted to go home. I didn't settle until like after my first full month in the country. I really enjoyed it in my first month, but I just was incredibly homesick and in tears a lot of the time. This is my first trip out of the UK to Thailand for a month as you guys know and I feel so different and that is why I just wanted to like talk to you guys share my thoughts I really should have made notes because there have been so many things that I've been thinking about I apologize if this video is a bit all over the place but it's like a brain dump I'm just kind of like relaying what I'm thinking right now the thoughts going through my head I'm not sure when this video will go live but as I said we're in Northern Thailand, Chiang Mai, the city, I think it's a city. And yeah, we've been in Chiang Mai for like two days. We came from Bangkok. I wasn't the biggest fan of Bangkok, I'm not gonna lie. We didn't really see much of it because we were in quarantine for like a few hours and then we just didn't stay there for very long. But it was a very busy city, so much going on. So many tuk-tuk drivers just like waving at us and asking if we wanted a city tour for like 20 baht. But I don't really want to like jump to conclusions because as I said, we weren't there for very long. So I don't know, I didn't get to see a lot of it at all. But we're in Chiang Mai now and I really like the city. Like I am loving the fruit here. It's honestly amazing. It's like better than I expected. I've had mangoes, like watermelon, pineapple, dragon fruit. I am yet to try durian, like the big fruit that's like spiky and green on the outside and apparently it really smells. I was trying to get one today from the market but the lady was talking to me in Thai and I didn't understand what she was saying and I was like, I'm so sorry. Um, which I don't know how to say in Thai yet, but it's, as I said, better than expected. It's honestly incredible and it's so cheap. It's honestly crazy how cheap it is out here. But yeah, I kind of know how to say a few things in Thai. Well, two, three things. So the first is hello. So savadika, savadika, savadika. I think it's okay. My pronunciation. Thank you is kopunka, I think, or kop car not really sure but i think that's how you say it sometimes i say hello instead of thank you when i'm walking away i'm like somebody car and i walk away and i'm like oh i just said hello not thank you and the third word though is vegan so j i think i'm saying that wrong like j j yay it's spelled j a y in like english it's different in thai obviously so the food first thoughts it's amazing. We did a cooking class yesterday, which will be in a vlog that either comes before this or after this one. But that was amazing. I made a pad thai that looked so professional, I'm not gonna lie. And it tasted amazing, so much food. Like we were just thrown into the deep end with like cooking and making Thai food, learning about how they make it, all of the stuff they put in, so many ingredients, but we got a cookbook as well. This trip, I have planned it all myself as I spoke to you guys leading up to us going away. Like I made the itinerary, we're booking things as we go along. I was so glad that my first trip away to Australia was planned very intensely. Like I had loads of tours back to back and I always knew what I was doing. So it meant that I had a structure and it kind of took my mind off the fact that I was away from home. But this time, 
we're booking things as we go as i said and we're just like assessing how we feel seeing what we want to do you have to think a lot more and you have to like plan things book things like i'm constantly thinking ahead like okay where's the next accommodation that we need to book which tour should we think about doing in this place or do we just want to like explore on our own so it takes a lot of thought but i'm honestly loving the whole process of planning things and you guys know me i love my organization but the main thing i wanted to talk about in this video was homesickness because as i said i was very homesick in australia and throughout the whole of my life like i'm 20 for now but throughout the whole of my life i have experienced homesickness every single time i've gone away from home going away to cambridge for uni or like when i went on school trips like i'd always get homesick and i'd miss home so so much and going into this trip i didn't know if i was going to experience those same feelings like feeling homesick and just really wanting to go home but like i don't feel homesick at all like maybe there was a slight bit of homesickness when i was like really tired on like the second day or something in bangkok but i don't feel homesick like i know i'm away i know home is at home i know my family is at home i still love my family like i do miss them obviously but like i just don't feel this same sense of homesickness and it's not like holding me back like i'm here and i am ready to explore and make the most of it and like i'm not saying homesickness is a bad thing it can yes sometimes hold you back and you don't say enjoy things as much as you would especially in the first few days or weeks or months of you traveling or if you go away for uni or something but in me not feeling homesick i have as i said like immediately thrown myself in and i can like take everything in i can talk to people i've been socializing and meeting people like straight away whereas when i was in australia for example and really homesick like i just didn't talk to anyone because i didn't want to i was thinking about home and thinking about wanting to go home home is where my heart is and it always will be at home but i'm just like reaching this point where i'm able to go away and have the best time away and appreciate home for what it is and then come back and you know it will be home like nothing will change i wish i could work out what has enabled me to kind of let go of the homesickness or like move on from that but it's kind of surprising to me as well because going to thailand from the uk is more of a culture shock in comparison to going to australia from the uk like australia and the uk they're very similar but thailand is a whole different culture it's very different the way people live the place the language everything is so different and so i did think that i would be homesick or at least a little bit homesick you know i don't know if it's because i've grown and like it shows that i've grown quite a bit or if it's because I have Matthew here with me and I think it was in my plot twist video I said this where I was like I'm taking a piece of home with me like Matthew is coming with me so that's maybe why I don't feel homesick but I really do feel like it's because I've maybe grown I'm a little bit older than I say went to Australia I've been traveling before I know how it feels and I know I really wanted to go away like I've been waiting over two years to get traveling again and maybe it's because I was just so ready to do this and I really wanted to go away that I've been able to overcome like homesickness you know and I did promise you guys I said that I would talk about homesickness and I don't know how Matthew feels like I don't know if he's homesick I have been asking him he doesn't really know he doesn't really express his emotions but I think he is feeling a little bit homesick especially because of the luggage situation and so maybe as well part of me is like i need to be there for matthew as like his older sister and i mean he's doing so well for like his first trip away from home like he's with me but he's talking to people he's throwing himself in he is an introvert like me but he's having a good time i think and now he has his luggage by the way but yeah it's just crazy like homesickness where are you like i'm not asking for it at all but like i don't know where it's gone it's like poofed and i'm just like well nothing's holding me back and jet lag wise i also don't feel as if i felt jet lag like i was tired on our first few days in bangkok like really quite tired but now i've had like some really decent night's sleep and as i said like i am so energized i'm so ready to go i'm so excited to see things do things meet people i really feel like i did stuff to avoid jet lag so on the plane for example here i really tried to like get myself onto the time zone in thailand so i slept when they would be sleeping i woke up when they would like wake up and then when we arrived and it was daytime in thailand because we arrived at like 6 a.m in the morning i stayed awake that whole day i had one tea with some caffeine in and i went to bed in the evening i was very tired by the end of the day like 
exhausted and I slept really well but like I kept myself awake because I knew that if I'd slept during the day because I don't normally nap it would have really thrown off my sleep schedule and it would have made the jet lag worse or I would have just been jet lagged because as I said like I don't really feel too jet lagged I didn't really feel it at all but yeah that's homesickness jet lag the fruit the food what else did I want to talk to you guys about oh there was so much I really should have made notes um i would say that one of the most difficult things about being here in thailand is the language barrier and especially say with me asking for certain food like no meat no eggs no dairy i really need to learn those words and i'm gonna maybe make like a picture on my phone that says that because i can't really pronounce things okay but at the same time the people here like the thai people obviously there are loads of backpackers but the thai people who live here are so friendly they're always happy to help you the roads are crazy here and the driving is incredibly chaotic crossing the road is a bit traumatic i'm gonna say every time because i'm like oh my gosh there are these scooters and these motorbikes and mopeds everywhere and these cars and these taxis and these tuk-tuks it's it's kind of crazy like it was even worse in bangkok we were driving to our cooking class yesterday and our cooking class instructor she was taking a selfie of us in the back of the minibus while she was driving and i was like laughing to myself i was like oh my gosh like are you looking straight ahead like yeah i was kind of scared for our lives but it's okay safety wise i feel like in bangkok if i was on my own and not with matthew I would have felt slightly uncomfortable. I don't think unsafe is the right word, but a bit uncomfortable just because of all the tuk-tuk drivers maybe coming up to you. I have had some people take pictures of me. I was gonna smile and wave, but I didn't. Matthew's fine, like he's a guy. Hello? Oh, you can come in, Matt. Oh, Matthew's lost his card. Do you want me to open the door? Okay. He's lost his card. Hello. This is the water we get from 7-Eleven. 7-Elevens were in Australia as well. They're like convenience stores. Oh, the door is moving. <laughs> he still lost his card. <laughs> you definitely had one. Yeah. Where was your card in your bag? Oh, it's in this little bag. Did you maybe get out your wallet and it dropped out? Maybe, but... I would have seen that. Everyone loses things, it's really frustrating, but I just really hope we get this back. Oh wait, I have a message from Matthew. Oh my god, I have a missed call from Matthew. Bad sister, holy bad sister, bad sister. Hello? Have you found it? Yeah. <sighs> Sorry, I just missed it, it was on charge. It didn't even make a noise, is it on silent? It's on silent, but it's not, it didn't ring or vibrate. But you found it, was it on the floor? Ah, oh, and you said you would have heard it drop out, so clearly you didn't hear it drop out. Thank goodness, that would have ruined the whole day as well because he would have been annoyed about that. So, oh my God, issue solved. I literally think I jinxed it by saying that Matthew is doing fine. But basically we get this water and Matthew is quickly realizing that I drink a lot of water and you need to stay hydrated, right? I'm having my rehydration tablets, which are really good. They actually taste pretty decent, like they're blackcurrant flavored. I linked them in my packing video, but I can link them down below as well. They're like basically the equivalent of Hydrolyte, which is what I had in Australia after my um hospital visit and this is my sun cream which i have been applying every single day i'm reapplying i didn't show this in my packing video because i put it in like right at the end and this is my sun balm i mean i can put this on my face i don't really mind but this is a face one specifically back to 50 both of them i'm wearing my travel trousers obviously the elephant thailand trousers i bought these for quite a lot of money well a lot of money relative to the price you would pay here to get something similar on depop but I just couldn't not wear them and I have them on today because we're going to temples and I also need to cover my shoulders as a female going into temples. I don't really know why historically or whatever but I need to cover up essentially so I'm taking a t-shirt I'm just gonna put one on today um but yeah I am gonna end this video. If you want me to talk about anything in particular I've tried to cover some different things as I said it's a bit all over the place and it's just a few of my thoughts put together but yeah just let me know what you want me to talk about whether it's socializing but more about homesickness safety as always just leave your questions down below or your ideas and yeah i hope you enjoy continuing our journey our adventures in thailand i am having the best time so far yes there have been like hiccups along the way but hopefully we'll sort it out i'm braving my hair down today so we'll see oops how that goes in the heat and humidity but yeah thank you as always for watching this video definitely give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it subscribe if you are new follow along on the instagram at vegan holly g and yeah hit the bell on here so you know when i upload because it's a bit sporadic it's when i have time to edit and stuff like that but i 
am so content right now i'm so happy i'm in my element one of you guys said it that i'm a very like adventurous sagittarius i am a sagittarius but for the majority of my life that side of me has not been unleashed and you know traveling brings out like this whole new side to me i am so just i don't know it makes me so happy and i feel incredible right now so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video as i said i hope you enjoyed this series this thailand series and yeah i will speak to you as always very soon in another video bye i just don't know where he's lost it oh i mean 500 baht is hmm. the conversions i'm still not great with 500 baht maybe it's like 10 pounds it's not Oh wait, I have a message from Matthew.